In this video, let us see what is page utils and what methods we have inside that. So inside the utils folder, we have the file called page utils. Let me open that. In this, we have a class which is named page utils, and then we have different methods in this file. Let me go through each of these methods. So the first method is get element. What this does is if you give a locator to this element, sorry, this method, it will return an element. Uh, an example of a locator could be something like this. For post icon in the WordPress app, let me show you what it, this is the post icon and I am passing the locator for it. Uh, the accessibility ID is posts. If you pass this tuple as a parameter to this method, you will get the element and then you will be able to perform click action on it. This get element method internally depends on get element by type method. If you could Remember, in the previous test cases, we used to write steps like find element by accessibility ID or find element by XPath, etc. So moving forward, we will not be doing steps like those. This get element method will take care of finding the element by a locator strategy. So this, let's see what is inside get element by type. So if I pass the locator as accessibility ID and post, this method will get executed. And since we are passing accessibility ID, the statement on line number 39 will be executed since we are passing the accessibility ID as post. And then we will finally get the element from this. Similarly, if you pass an X path, the line number 49 will be executed, which will take the X path value which you provided and then gives you back an element. Similarly, we have a method called get elements. This will again take the same locator value. If you pass a locator, it will return the elements based on the locator you pass. And this again internally depends on get elements by type method. This, if you pass an accessibility ID, it will return a list of elements on the page. And then uh, if we go down, we can see a method called is visible. This method will check if an locator, if an element is present in the page or not. And similarly, we have a method called wait visible, which will wait until the element shows up. And we have a few actions like, for example, click action tap action uh, which can be used if you want to perform click actions on the element which you find um, and then we have hide keyboard which will uh, dismiss or hide the keyboard which is present on the screen uh, let me quickly show you how this click works uh, let's go through that if you pass a locator value for this it will in turn reach out to the wait visible method which will wait until the element is present which is again internally contacting the is visible method and uh, the is visible method has a try except logic so it will check if the locator if the element is displayed or not by retrying for a set number of times 
uh, and you can see that the is visible method again depends on get element which comes back to the first method which we have and uh, uh, similarly if you go down you can see that we have a method for send keys which will send uh, keys send input text for an element we have a clear method which will clear out all the text which is there on the element and uh, we have uh, scroll methods also uh, we have a method for android scroll and one method for ios scroll um, so this is the same logic which we saw in our test case we will be passing a locator and then wait for it to get displayed till then we will continue swipe using the self.driver.swipe uh, method and we have io scroll and you can see that we pass we wait for an element and then we scroll to the element till the visible to visible tag is set to true um, and then we have uh, a scrolling method which is nothing but internally calls the io scroll and android scroll as you can see here i'm saying like if the platform is ios then do io scroll else do uh, call the android scroll method uh, we have a get text method which will um, find the text which is in the element 